Hello friends, this is Percy coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. For today's project, we need a glue gun, glue stick, styrofoam ball, and pistachio shells. To stabilize the styrofoam ball as we do this project, I will make it sit on this cement base that I did for another project. I start by gluing three pistachio shells close together like this to make a rosette. This is the pattern I'm going for for this project. I started the rosette on top, then I will make four on each side and then one at the bottom. Almost three years ago, I made those three pistachio balls in the background. I was so inspired when we were getting our lake house to make unique home decorations. I am a person who saves everything including pistachio shells because I thought in my head I can make something out of them. So one day I sat down and made those three pistachio shell decorative balls or bowl fillers. Here I am starting the third rosette on one of the sides of the ball. To clean the shells, I soak them in warm water overnight for the leftover seed coats to soften because they come out easier when they are soft by soaking the shells. Here now are all the rosettes on all six sides. As I am editing, I look online for other projects you can use pistachio shells for. Here are some of them and you can also paint them. Just keep adding to the rosettes, making them somewhat equal in size all the time until they meet each other. This is almost the end of it. So two of the rosettes met like this. While I am doing this, I am also watching a favorite movie or listening to a podcast or listening to my playlist. When two rosettes are closing in, just keep adding at it on both sides until you get the desired effect. There's no right or wrong in doing this. It is done after an hour or so. And here's one of those I made in the past. Now I have four. I hope you like this project and start saving those pistachio shells. It's the last week of February and it's time to reset our vignette. I removed the demijohns, but I'm keeping that vertical interest of ladders and paddles because I love it. I brought out the console table again. And it's time to oil it. I love this because it smells like orange in the house. There you go, clean and ready for the reset. This is the first time I'm showing you all my decorations. It's a mix of fall, everyday, spring, and what have you decorations. They are all stored here and everywhere. 
these are what I pulled for the reset today. I also have an unboxing of a bunny mold from Timu and more of this felt covered bunnies. I got the big one from the thrift store. It was eleven dollars. It was it's heavy. And this one, these two are just styrofoam covered. And I'd like to change up that ribbon on their necks to match the big one. I have that raffia from the dollar store that I bought some time ago that I can use to match the ribbon. A very easy change up project. Here is everything that I pulled so far and let's see how it goes. I made this drop cloth carrots last year and so are these. I have a video how I did them last year. Check it out if you have time. So these three bunnies will sit on that pedestal. I am a maximalist or a completist. So we'll see how this turn out. All of these things I'm showing you are thrifted or I made or repainted except for those molds and the bunnies that I just got from Timu. These eggs are made of concrete, they are heavy, but I thought they just need some oomph. So I'm just adding our favorite moss. In this little pot that I aged gluing reindeer moss powder, I'm just nesting an egg and that's it. Here is what I got so far. I'm happy with it. I'm not filling it to the brim this time. But let's see how it will turn out at the end. Here is what's left. And I will use them in other parts of the house. I have this little bunny planter that I thought I have to plant something on it. So my favorite aloe goes in it, of course. Here's a little vignette on my tea cart. Here is the final look. I brought up my ficus plant in the corner and the pothos. And I swapped out one finial for those yellow flowers. and brought back some of my crock pots that's it and i also filled this basket with all those other eggs that i painted and decoupaged or what have you in the past all in this big basket now we have a centerpiece i almost forgot about these big eggs that i painted and aged using the reindeer moss powder. Another little cute vignette in the corner. And here's another look of what I did today. Thanks for watching friends and I hope to see you in the next video. Smile and go look for your purpose. Thank you again. Goodbye.